Yes, me and Kelly have to have a relationship. Imagine he's saying all this and he's still on the phone to Kelly. This is very embarrassing. What is up, YouTube? What's cool? What's going What's happening? It's time for life. And it's also time for another love after luck up, baby. So today we are looking at Destiny and Sean. This couple, I, I don't even know. Destiny's in the house, she's maxing out this guy's cards, credit cards, everything. And she's like, yeah, so, and she feels like she deserves the moon and the stars. They're out in Las Vegas, she's having a good time. She's partying it up, racking up the bills. And Sean is like, and Sean is like, yeah, well, she, he also has six other kids, which she thought it was two. And so, yeah, the guy doesn't really have that much money to be just spending on one person, but he has spent thousands and thousands and thousands, in fact, tens of thousands on this woman when she was in prison and now that she's out. So anyway, now they're just in the house and let's see what they're up to now. Airing up this uh, inflatable rat. So Sean is talking to his ex, not even wife, the woman who popped out six kids for him but was not his wife, Kelly. And yeah, he's talking about I'm airing up an inflatable raft. This woman is cooking her bacon instead of her just focusing on cooking her bacon. And I'm talking about destiny here. She's like, what is he up to? Let me see what he's up to. I, I want to see everything that he's up to and what he's doing and this and that. So she's, she's, she's going to see. And this shot is so weird. I don't know these camera people. They love being all up in people's hair. They did it to Chevelle. Now they're doing it to destiny. Um, they're all up on her shoulder, basically. And she's looking out, seeing what, what he's doing. And weirdly enough, he's standing right there by the doors with the windows for Destiny to see. Like, if you're really trying to sneak around, just be like some people, <laughs> like uh, Michael from the other Love After Lockup, which has now become Life After Lockup, because, oh yeah, they do follow these people <laughs> for a long period of time. Um, and he went to the bathroom to talk to his baby mom or something like that with the, with the tap running. Imagine this cowardly act. But anyway, Destiny's scary, man. If I were him, I would, I would, I would go and buy milk and <laughs> just, just, just disappear. But no, I'm kidding. That's that's ridiculous. To be honest, he's got six kids with this other woman, wifey or no wifey. That's your baby mama. Six children is a lot. That's a lot of responsibility, and you cannot have somebody on your neck who's always going to be like, who are you talking to? If you're not about the kids, you can't talk to them. Like what? Obviously, he's going to have to have a relationship with this woman for the sheer fact that she's now taking care of all the six kids. Also, I don't know why she's taking care of all the six kids. It's kind of weird. Has anybody ever asked that? It's kind of weird when you have like a broken home and only the one person has the custody. You have to ask yourself, so why do only they have custody over the kids? It's weird in my eyes. But anyway. Everything is going. It's going good. I'm actually really surprised. Why? There is Destiny and she's like, and who are you talking to? And he's like, Kelly. And she is not happy, as you can see by her face. Why is she calling you? What? Why is she calling you? What kind of ridiculous question is that? Why is she calling you? This would need to happen. Even if they're not talking about the kids, they need to establish some kind of relationship. They have to up keep and uphold some kind of relationship, some kind of friendship, because that's the woman that's taking care of your six kids. Six. Because me and Kelly have to have a relationship. Imagine he's saying all this and he's still on the phone to Kelly. This is very embarrassing. Like these conversations need to be had before she gets out, when she's in your house. And you need to let her know who's boss. She doesn't have a house. She doesn't even have money. Why do you care so much about somebody that does not care about you, obviously? Because it's the minute you guys have kids, that's going to be the step uh step sisters and whatever of the other kids and they're gonna have to play together and they're gonna have to have or be together and they're gonna have to have a relationship as well so why are you fronting girl why are you fronting give me a plane ticket home now that is a very weird response give me a plane ticket home now <laughs> that's even so funny imagine threatening to leave somebody and be like get me a plane ticket out of here right now you get it out of your purse your credit card, your, you get me a credit. <laughs> you get me a plane to get out of here right now. Not, I'm leaving, bye, deuces. And this is why you always need to have your own ish. You always need to have your own stuff. You always need to have your own money, whether a man or a woman. Because this is not worth it. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. Imagine threatening somebody to help you to hurt them. Eh? Like I'm 
I'm broke. Give me out of here now. I gotta go. And all this Kelly is hearing it. She's just gonna be more like, I don't know what you crazy guy, what you're doing with this woman. You're definitely not seeing the kids if that woman is around. Like all that is gonna come, I'm sure. Ridiculous. Are you serious right now? That's mm -hmm. Alright. Whatever. I have six kids. These are six kids. Mm-mm. Six kids with Kelly and I need to take care of my kids, so there's gonna be phone calls. So I'm good off you, dude. You don't wanna respect me, dude? I you. do respect you. No, you don't. You. That's not respecting me. You ridiculous. I have no words for this behavior. Absolutely ridiculous. And she's smoking. Who's buying the smoke? And she's got a phone. Who's paying for the phone? This guy is doing everything for you. If I were her, I'd just shut up, sit there, look pretty, and he's paying for everything. Literally, doesn't want you to do anything. Hasn't mentioned a job, not once. Hasn't mentioned anything. Like, he's just willing to shower you, lavish you. When you came, it was concealer, foundation, uh, all these things, even a charcoal face mask. Everything was laid out for you. Who does that? In all the years that I've been watching this show here and there, I've never seen anybody do that for anybody. Or they don't show it, I don't know. But that's a lot. That is a lot. And she's just out here like super ungrateful. You're sitting in a house that you don't own. You're holding a phone that you don't own. You're smoking cigarettes that you can't afford. You can't afford anything. Anything right now. You're totally, solely dependent on this guy for now. And this is how you're treating him. It's beyond me. You can act, be with her. I don't want to be with her. Talk to her. I want to be with you. No, I'm done, dude. I don't want to be with you, dude. I don't give a f You can have everything back. I don't care, dude. I'm done, for real. Oh, well, that's great. That's it. Just pack up your suitcase, get all the things, all the brass. You went out to Victoria's Secret. You bought about 10 brass for whatever reason. Just put everything. Even the charcoal mask, you haven't used it yet? Great. Put everything. Me, I have a baby mama. Ha! Six kids, too. Hmm. Some of them are of eight. They can use this makeup. Listen. Just put everything in here and bye. Put everything in the suitcase. Put everything in the corner of the house. I don't care. Even the t-shirt you're wearing, my friend, remove it. Remove it, remove it. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. That is not your phone. You don't pay for this phone. Give me everything. Give me everything and go. You want me to buy a plane ticket? For what reason? Ha! Bye. Some of these people need to have real conversations because I don't see how you can be so ungrateful and sit here and say all these things. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's not all about you. There's actually six, six kids involved. If there were no kids involved, I would get the jealousy, but there are kids involved. Ridiculous. She's not, she's not joking. She's gonna, she said she's gonna, boom. She's not joking. She can do it. I don't yeah. want to leave like this. I want to fix this. There's nothing to fix. Well, There's nothing to fix. He's going to work. You're still in the house. But supposedly you're angry and you want to leave right now, right now. But you're still in the house. I love you, okay? Mm -hmm. Take care. <laughs> I get him. It's good not to, you know, leave the house when you're angry or whatever. But he's like, I love you. And she's like, mm hmm Like, the attitude doesn't match. It doesn't match her ability to actually sustain herself by herself. The attitude is very misplaced. If you're going to have an attitude, you need to be self-sufficient. And she is not. So I'm confused. Take care of your kids and be there for your kids. Okay? But it's another thing to be talking to her and then her getting mad and he's going to tell me that he's going to have a relationship with her. Destiny, you know what she means. You know, you know what he means when he says relationship with her. Come on. This is why I always say, you can't tell me these producers don't pay these people to say certain things. Because nobody is this, like, detached from reality. Nobody. It doesn't make sense. When he says relationship, obviously he's not going to the woman's house. We haven't heard yet of him going to even see the kids or anything. I don't even know where the kids are, to be very honest. But anyway, he's just there with you. He's just lavishing you. He's just giving you everything that you need. And yet here you are angry. Also, the bacon that she made, who was that for? That was a lot of bacon. And he just left to work. So does that mean he didn't have any of the breakfast? See, some of these things. I don't know how they cut these things, but that's interesting. He's in a relationship with me. Why should you be talking? Oh, so he is in a relationship with you. He is present. Oh, so you're not going anywhere. So you're just threatening him. 
talking with somebody else, especially somebody you've had a past relationship with. Forget the past relationship. Six kids. Let's let's just not forget that. It's not just some fling or some girlfriend. Six kids. Hmm? Over the over twenty years. Also, this is where she boom him in the mouth. As she said, I told you she could do it. And then Sean says he's done with this show. He swears more than he does usually because he's just that frustrated. I don't know. This is a very unhealthy relationship. He's going to buy a two thousand dollar ring. His friend Hector has already said he thinks he's really dumb, really, really dumb. Um, yeah, um, I fear for this couple. This is not a healthy relationship. If anybody is in a relationship like this, get the heck out. Nobody should be putting hands on nobody. Nobody should be emotionally tormenting the other person like this. You know, if you don't like this guy talking to his baby's mama, it's not going to work. Because they're going to be in his life for a long time. Even after 18, they're still in his life. Then comes college, then comes uni. And some of his money is going to have to shift towards that direction. And not only for you to buy lingerie and things that you think are cute and you deserve. It's funny how these people think they deserve things when they knowingly committed crimes. I'm yet to hear somebody who said, I went to jail and it was like, I, I was framed. So I was, I was framed and, and it was all a mistake and I'm out now. And I've been having this pen pal because I deserve love because I was in there by mistake. Oh, well, oh, uh, yeah, no, that, that does not happen. Why? Why? You may ask because, oh, uh, well, all of these people committed the crimes and they knew they were committing the crimes and they loved committing the crimes. They loved getting away with committing crimes. Then they got caught and now they've been in there and now they're talking about, I deserve this. I deserve that. No, you deserve to be humble. Say your prayers because you need them and relax and be helpful and grateful. And I am yet to see that Quaylon is happy, but he's getting the moon and the stars too. Other than that, I don't know who is actually particularly happy. Dylan is probably happy to be out, but he's not happy with this clingy, clingy girlfriend of his. And then the rest, Destiny and Shonda is not even answering the phone calls of, of uh, Tyrese. The rest of them, I don't know. Christiana seems quite grateful, to be honest. She seems grateful. But then now she's locked up again in the halfway house. Anyway, we're going to talk about them tomorrow. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bomb stomp as a sound on the subscribe button comment because I really want to know what you think. Is this healthy? I know a lot of you are going to say no. But anyway, like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos on this channel. Love after lock up all weekdays and other videos sprinkled here and there because we do everything up in here. This is a lifestyle channel. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.